from 2022 onwards dangerous things are going to come israel's economic and military strength allows us to protect ourselves but it also allows us something else to strive for peace with the entire arab world and with our closest neighbors the palestinians an agreement with the palestinians based on the two states for two people is the right thing for israel's security for israel's economy and for the future of our children peace is not a compromise it is the most courageous decision we can make peace is not weakness it embodies within it the entire might of human spirit war is a surrender to all that is bad within us peace is the victory of all that is good despite all the obstacles still today a large majority of israelis support the vision of the two state solution i am one of them we have only one condition that the future palestinian state will be a peaceful one that it will not become another terror base from which to threaten the well-being and the very existence of israel that we will have the ability to protect the security of all the citizens of Israel at all times. If someone believes that demand is too much, then look at the neighborhood in which we live. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am returning to Jerusalem with mercy. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts, and a surveyor's line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem. Now something is very interesting now. இப்பொழுதும் இதிலே ஆர்வத்தை தூண்டக்கூடிய சுவாரஸ்யம் ஒன்று இருக்கிறது. This 70 years period ends on September 21 2017. And then when I came out of the vision, அந்த தரிசனத்தில் நான் மீண்டு வந்த பின்பு, I made a research, ஒரு ஆராய்ச்சி செய்தே. And I found that UN first passed a resolution for the forming of the nation of Israel. in november 11 1947 so 1947 plus 70 is how many 1947 lod 70 ay kootinaal ethanai 2017 2017 Two states along the 1967 lines where mutually agreed to swaps remain the best way to achieve uh, equal measure of security, prosperity, freedom and democracy for the Palestinians as well as Israelis. Year 2014 and 2015. There were four blood moons that appeared in Israel. And it happened during their feast days. It, this happened 400 years later. And it is a sign that bloodshed is is going to take place in israel meendum israel desathile ratham sindapadugira vedanai undavadarkana adayalamagum adu sure enough after that even there was a lot of bloodshed in israel adu kaanapatta pirpaadu unmayagave israel desathil alavu kadigamaga ratham sindapattathu in the year 2014 2014 am aandil one day when i was praying oru naal nan jibithukondirukkum bodu my soul was caught up to heaven ennudaiya aanma paralogathukkul eduthukollapatta and the lord jesus spoke to me about some matter 
us andavar yesu christ sila kaaryangalai kurithu enodu pesina then he turn around and he look and he called a saint pinbu avar thirumbi oru parisuthavanai varumbadi alaithar and the saint came forward and the parisuthavan munbaga vandar and when i looked at him i recognize him as the saint jeremiah avargalai paartha udane avar yeremia thirkadrisiyana parisuthavan endra adayalam kandukonde the lord told him kathar avaridathil sonna jeremiah Yeremiahve teach him about this 70 years 70 varshangalai kurithu ivarku podi so then jeremiah came avar yeremiah vanda and he pulled me aside enai oramai kondu chendru and he explained to me the prophecy that he gave about the 70 years 70 varshangalai kurithu avar sonna thirkadarsanangalai enakku telivai vivarithu sonna you will find that in jeremiah chapter 25 verse 11 yeremiah 25 11 masanathil ningal adai kurithu paarkalam he prophesied of 70 years of captivity for israel israel desathaarin 70 varsha kaala sirai irupai thirkadarsanamai uraitha and that prophecy came to pass during his lifetime and the thirkadarsanam avar vaalndu கர்க்கிலேயே நிறைவேறி விட்டது பட் எவ்ரி வேர்ட் ஆஃப் காட் ஹஸ் செவரல் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் ஆனால் தேவனுடைய ஒவ்வொரு வார்த்தைக்கும் பல்வேறு பரிமாணங்கள் இருக்கின்றன ஒன் இட் இஸ் a natural fulfillment ஒன்று இயற்கையான நிறைவேறுதல் அது நவ் இட் ஹஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் டு இட் இப்பொழுதும் இதற்குள் ஆவிக்குரிய பரிமாணங்களும் இருக்கின்றன சோ வென் தி செயின் ஜெர்மைய எக்ஸ்பிளைன் டு மீ அந்த எரேமியா பரிசுத்தமான் எனக்கவைகளை விவரித்து சொன்னபோது இ டிட் நாட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் டு மீ வாட் ஹேப்பன் இன் ஹிஸ்டரி சரித்திர தில் என்ன நடந்தது என்பதை அவர் எனக்கு சொல்லவே இல்லை that we don't need to know அது நாம் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டிய அவசியமும் இல்லை because it's already the past ஏனது ஏற்கனவே கடந்த கால சரித்திரம் but he explained to me how the 70 years is applicable prophetically in the last days ஆனால் கடைசி நாட்களிலே அந்த 70 வருஷமும் தீர்க்கதரிசன ரீதியாக எப்படி பொருந்தும் ஏற்படையது என்பதை விளக்கி சொன்னார் he said one more time 70 years is determined upon israel இன்னும் ஒரு விஷயமாக இஸ்ரவேல் தேசத்தின் மேல் 70 வருஷங்கள் நிர்ணயிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன என்றார் then he looked at looked at me and he showed me in the year 2017 it will make a turning point in israel pinbu 2017 am aandil israel desathil oru thiruppu munai erpadum endru sonnar so while he was speaking avar pesikondu irukkum bodhe i quickly made a mental calculation naan thuridhamaa irukkul oru manakkanukku potten israel gain independence in the year 1948 1948 am aandil dhaan israel thani naadaga udithathu so 1948 plus 70 is how many 1948 odu 70 ai kootinal ethanai varum all that men tigers where are you max tigers kanakkula pulinga la enga irkinga 20 2018 2018 see i was as smart as you all are nanu ungal ella mari konjam kettikarar dhaan so i told the saint naan andha parisuthavan edathile sonne excuse me father ayya konjam poruthukidunga pa i think the math is wrong neenga podra kanakku konjam thappu mari theriyude he looked at me very kindly romba irakkam ulla mari dayavai ennai paarthu why do you say like that son மகனே ஏன் அப்படி சொல்றீங்கன்னு கேட்டா ஐ செட் சார் இஸ்ரேல் கேன் இன்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் இன் 1948 நான் சொன்னேன் ஐயா இஸ்ரேல் 1948ல தானே விடுதலையான தனி தேசமாச்சு இஃப் வி ஆட் 70 இயர்ஸ் இட் will it comes to 2018 ஐயா நாட் 2017 அதோடு கூட 70 ஆண்டுகளை கூட்டினால் 2017 ல 2018 தானே வரும் ஐயா இல்லை ஸ்மைல் அட் மீ அவர் என்னை பார்த்து புன்னகை தா அண்ட் தென் கிவ் மீ ஒன் லுக் ஒரு நோட்டம் பார்வை விட்டார் and then he said பின்பு சொன்னார் not my calculation your calculation is wrong yen kanakku illa magane on kanakku dhan pa thappu you must not take this count from the year that it was it gained independence israel vidudalai adainda adilirund neengal kanakku edukka koodathu he said go back to the foundation the beginnings adanudaiya aarambh asthibara naalukku pongal and then when i came out of the vision and the darshanathil naan meendu vanda pinbu i made a research or aaraichi seidhen and i found that you and first pass a resolution for the forming of the nation of israel in november 11 1947 இஸ்ரவேல் ஒரு தனி நாடாக உருவாவதற்கான ஒப்புதலை நவம்பர் மாதம் பதினோராம் தேதி ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி ஏழாம் ஆண்டிலேயே ஐக்கிய நாட்டுகள் அவை முடிவெடுத்து விட்டது என்பதை கண்டறிந்தேன் ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி ஏழோடு எழுபதை கூட்டினால் எத்தனை 
முதலாம் அதிகாரம் பன்னிரண்டு தொடங்கி பதினேழு வரை படிக்கும்படி என்னை வழிநடத்தினார் பாருங்கள் I am returning to Jerusalem with mercy my house shall be built in it says the lord of hosts and a surveyor's line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem ஆகையால் மன உருக்கத்தோடு எருசலேமினிடத்தில் திரும்பினேன் என்று கர்த்த சொல்கிறார் என் ஆலயம் அதிலே கட்டப்படும் எருசலேமின் மேல் அளவு நூல் பிடிக்கப்படும் என்று சேனைகளின் கர்த்த சொல்லுகிறார் என்று கூறு என்றார் காரியங்களை பாருங்கள் ஒன்று என் ஆலயம் அதிலே கட்டப்படும் Jerusalem இரண்டாவது எருசலேமின் மேல் அளவு நூல் பிடிக்கப்படும் now something is very interesting now இப்பொழுதும் இதிலே ஆர்வத்தை தூண்டக்கூடிய சுவாரஸ்யம் ஒன்று இருக்கிறது this 70 years period ends on September 21 2017 இந்த 70 வருஷ காலம் 2017 ஆம் ஆண்டு செப்டம்பர் மாதம் 21 ஆம் தேதியோடு முடிகிறது because after 2017 September 21 a new year begins ஏன் என்றால் 2017 ஆம் ஆண்டின் செப்டம்பர் மாதம் 21 ஆம் தேதிக்கு பின்பு ஒரு புதிய ஆண்டு பிறக்கிறது so from this season onwards ஆகவே இந்த காலம் தொடங்கி now this scripture is going to be fulfilled now இப்பொழுது இந்த வேத வாக்கியம் நிறைவேற போகிறது so two things things are going to be given birth to in israel agave israel desathile irandu karyangal prasavikkapada pogindrana now that does not mean i said it's going to happen in this year ippolud naan idai solli vittadinal indha varshame idu nadakkum endraagathu it from this season indha kaalathil irundu aarambhamagum endru solli things இரண்டு காரியம் முதலாவது the third temple will be rebuilt in jerusalem எருசலேமிலே மூன்றாவது தேவாலயம் திரும்பவும் கட்டப்படும் this has been prophesied for thousands of years பல ஆயிரக்கணக்கான ஆண்டுகள் இது தீர்க்க தரிசனமாக உரைக்கப்பட்டு வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது in revelation chapter 11 verses 1 and 2 வெளிப்படுதல் 11 முதல் இரண்டு வசனங்களிலே in a vision the apostle john together with the angel they were measuring the temple அப்போஸ்தலனாகிய யோவான் ஒரு தரிசனத்தில் தூதனோடு இணைந்தவர்கள் தேவாலயத்தை வந்து பார்க்கிறார்கள் now that is a scene during the time of the two witnesses இரண்டு சாட்சிகள் இறங்கி வரக்கூடிய நாட்களில் நடக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு அடயாளம் இது and that is during the time of the antichrist அந்தி கிறிஸ்துவின் நாட்களின் போது நடக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு காரியம் அது so that scripture proves அப்படி என்றால் இந்த வசனம் இதை நிரூபிக்கிறது there will be a temple in jerusalem during the time of the antichrist அந்தி கிறிஸ்து இந்த பூமியில் இருக்கும் காலத்தின் பொழுது எருசலேமில் ஒரு தேவாலயம் இருக்கும் என்பதை நிரூபிக்கிறது so that fulfills the scripture அப்படி வரும் பொழுது அது இந்த வேத வாக்கியத்தின் நிறைவேறுதல் ஆகும் நவ் தி செகண்ட் திங் தட் இஸ் गोइंग டு டேக் பிளேஸ் சம்பவிக்க போகிற இரண்டாவது காரியம் என்னவென்றால் ஆன் டிசம்பர் 23rd 2016 2016 ஆம் வருஷத்தின் டிசம்பர் 23 ஆம் தேதி அன்று நவ் வெனெவர் ஐ கிவ் யூ ஆல் திஸ் டேட்ஸ் இந்த தேதிகளை எல்லாம் நான் உங்களுக்கு சொல்லும்போது தே ஆர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டேட்ஸ் ஃபார் யூ டு டேக் நோட் நீங்கள் இதை முக்கியமான தேதிகளாய் எழுதி கொள்ள வேண்டும் on december 23 2016 2016am aandin december 23am thedi endru the united nations pass a resolution for the creation of the state of palestine palestinam engra oru thani naadai uruvaakuvadarkaga aikya naattu avigal oru theermanathukku oppudal alithirukkindana to create a new state of palestine palestinam endra oru pudhiya naadai uruvaakka vendumanal israel must be divided israel பிரிக்கப்பட்டால் தான் சாத்தியம் ஏனென்றால் பாலஸ்தீனம் இப்பொழுது இஸ்ரேலின் ஒரு அங்கமாய் இருக்கிறது அப்படியானால் இஸ்ரேல் இரண்டாக கூறு போட்டு பிரிக்கப்படும் இந்தியாவுக்கு இது நடந்திருக்குங்க சுதந்திரம் அடைவதற்கு முன்பு பாகிஸ்தான் இந்தியாவும் பாகிஸ்தானும் இந்தியாவும் ஒரே நாடாக இருந்தது ஆங்கிலேயர்கள் புறப்பட்டு போவதற்கு முன்பு அவர்கள் ஒரு எல்லை பிரித்து விட்டார்கள் முஸ்லிம் பாகிஸ்தான் இஸ்லாமிய பாகிஸ்தான் இந்து இந்தியா இந்துக்கள் நிறைந்த இந்தியா வாட் வாஸ் ஒன்ஸ் ஒன் நேஷன் முன்பு ஒரு காலத்தில் இது ஒரே தேசமா இருந்ததோ இரண்டு நாடுகளாக பிரிந்தன அதே விதமாகத்தான் 
முடிவெடுக்கப்பட்டு <laughs> அந்த வருஷத்திலே அதை செய்ய முயற்சித்தார்கள் இஸ்ரேல் வாஸ் ரிசிஸ்டிங் இட் இஸ்ரேல் பலத்த எதிர்ப்பு தெரிவித்தது நான் फ्रॉम டிசம்பர் 23 டிசம்பர் 23 ஆம் தேதியிலிருந்து on September 23 September 23 ஆம் தேதி வரைக்கும் is exactly 9 months சரியாக 9 மாதம் கணக்கில் வரும் after how many months a child will be born எத்தனை மாதம் கழிச்சு ஒரு குழந்தை பிறக்கும் 9 months 9 மாதங்களுக்கு பின்பு so the woman is going to give birth ஆகவே அந்த ஸ்திரீ பிரசவிக்க போகிறாள் a nation is going to be born ஒரு தேசம் பிறக்க போகிறது israel is going to be divided israel பிரிக்கப்பட போகிறது and that means jerusalem will be divided அப்படி என்றால் எருசலேம் இரண்டாக பிரிக்கப்படும் என்ற அர்த்தம் actually the palestinians wants the whole of jerusalem unmayai solla ponal mulu jerusalem um palestinians thangalukku vendum endru adam pidikkirar but jerusalem will be divided into two aanal jerusalem irandaga pirikkapadum is jerusalem will belong to the palestinians kilakku jerusalem palestinians ai saarndu vidum and west jerusalem will belong to the jewish people merku jerusalem yuda janangalukku uriyadhaagi vidum you know what is a very sad thing idile romba dukkamana kaaryam enna theriyuma most of all the christian sites are on the eastern part of jerusalem Christ- தவர்களுக்கு முக்கியமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய புனித ஸ்தலங்கள் ஏராளம் கிழக்கு எருசலேமில் தான் இருக்கிறது நவ் தே ஆல் கம் அண்டர் தி அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் முஸ்லிம் பீப்பிள் இப்பொழுது அவைகள் அனைத்தும் முகமதிய மக்களுடைய நிர்வாகத்துக்கு கீழ் கட்டப்பட்டு விடும் இஸ் தி ஸ்கிரிப்சரல் ஆர் நாட் ஸ்கிரிப்சரல் இது வேதத்துக்கு உட்பட்டதா வேதத்துக்கு முரணானதா ஜோவேல் சாப்டர் 3 வெர்ஸ் 2 யோவேல் 3 ஆம் அதிகாரம் 2 ஆம் வசனம் ஜெக்கரையா சாப்டர் 1 வெர்ஸ் 16 சகரியா 1 16 சாப்டர் 14 வெர்ஸ் 2 14 and this three scriptures tells us in the three verses we are telling us that the land of israel will be divided israel desam pirikkapadum so now 9 months is going to be completed ippozhudu 9 maadangal niraivaga pogirathu already completed today yerkanave indrodu 9 maadangal niraivu petru vittathu now is the fullness of the time appadiyanal idu kaalathin niraiverudalagum the woman gives birth to a child sthriyanaval oru pillaiyai petru edukkiral so this could possibly be the birth of the palestinian state idu palestina thani naadu thondruvadarkuriya oru saathiyamai irukkalam now when that happens adu nadakkum bodu again there will be lots of bloodshed meendum eraalamana ratham sindudal undagum but here is how they are going to make a peace treaty between these two nation anal inge ipadi than inda irandu desangalukkum idaye oru samadhana udanbaadai yerpaduthuvargal i am going to give away something naan edhaagilum onrai vittu kodukka pogiren endra i must get something enakku edhaagilum kidaikka vendum allava right apdi thane then i will give away something appo dhaan onna naan vittu koduthuruven so what is israel going to get idanal israel edhai petru kolla pogirathu what enna hmm See, you all are wise like the astrologers. You are not as... astrologers, wise men. You are all wise men. They are going to get the temple. They are going to get the temple. அவர்கள் தேவாலயத்தை ஈவாய் பெற்று கொள்வார்கள் that will make the whole of israel quiet. அது முழு இஸ்ரவேல் தேசத்தையும் அமைதிப்படுத்தி விடும். they will freely give their land. இது தாராளமாக நிலத்தை கொடுத்துருவாங்க. You know, during my many visits in israel, இஸ்ரவேலுக்கு நான் பலமுறை போய் வந்ததிலிருந்து I spoken to many jewish people. நான் யூதர்களோடு பேசி இருக்கிறேன். They are very open about the partition of the land of israel israel desam irandaga prikkapaduvai kurithu romba thiranda manadhil irukkirargal to them biblical israel doesn't matter avargalai poruthamattil vedagama israel desathai kurithu kavalaiya paduvadillai they don't care about the division of israel israel desam irandaga koorid podapaduvai kurithu avalukku kavalaiya illai these are the secular jews ivargal ellarum ulaga pragaramana yudargal so when there's a referendum in the country agave nattile oru vaakkadukku varumanal they all will vote yes for the separation you israel desam irandaga pirikkapaduvarku anaivarum sadhagamaga vaakkalithu viduvargal now there will be a problem 
இப்போ ஒரு பிரச்சனை இருக்கு த ரிலீஸ் ஜூஸ் வில் டேக் அப் ஆம்ஸ் யூத மதவாதிகள் ஆயுதம் ஏந்துவார்கள் சோ தே will be make peace ஆகவே அவர்கள் சமாதானம் பேச்சுவார்த்தை நடத்துவாங்க யூ will get a temple உங்களுக்கு தேவாலயம் பரிசா கிடைக்குங்க தே will get a state அவங்களுக்கு தனி மாநிலம் கிடைத்து விடும் ஐ ஆல் एवरीबॉडी ஹேப்பி இப்ப எல்லாரும் சந்தோஷம் தானா எஸ் एवरीबॉडी ஹேப்பி ஆமா எல்லாரும் சந்தோஷம் ஹாக்கி சத தே கிஸ் ஈச் அதர் ஒருத்தர் ஒருத்தர் கட்டி அணைச்சி முத்தம் கொடுத்து because both have see a new thing is given birth parangal oru pudhiya karyam pirandu vittathu these are the red heifers that landed at israel's ben gurion airport rabbis believe the ashes of a red heifer are necessary for purifying priests to serve in a future temple the heifers were discovered and brought to israel with the help of the bone israel building israel organization and its team leader byron stinson Rabbis from the Temple Mount Institute approached Stinson about the unique cattle. They said, "Byron, could you look uh, in Texas and find us a red heifer?" I wasn't expecting that and it was shocking to me to think about it, but I know a lot of ranchers and I know a little bit about cattle like being from Texas, and I always say yes to these Jewish rabbis because they're my friends and I love them and uh why not? This began an in-depth process of finding the rare heifer. that meets key stipulations found in the Bible. The Bible gives us a clue as to the significance of the red heifers here in uh, Numbers chapter 19, verse 1 and 2 where it says that God spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, "This is the ritual law that God has commanded and struck the children of Israel to bring you a red cow without blemish in which there is no defect and on which no yoke has been laid." So it says that we're supposed to take a perfectly red cow with no uh white hairs or dark hairs at all and a cow that no yoke has ever been on so as a result it's very very rare to find a baby cow that is completely red the ashes of the red heifer would be used to purify water from the Gihon spring in the city of David just a few ashes could purify thousands of gallons of water that water can be then purified priest from any contact with a dead body so they can offer sacrifice in the temple some Jews go every single day to a ritual bath to a mikvah in order to approach god in prayer in purity however it is not the same because we don't have the red heifer once we have the red heifer we'll be completely pure and we'll be able to rebuild the temple the red heifer must also be 2 years old These cattle are just around a year old and could qualify in just over a year. Well, so if they're able to make it without growing the white hairs or black hairs, I think with 5 of them we have a really good chance of that, then they will be the first one in 2000 years. The Jewish sage Maimonides from the 12th century said throughout the first and second temples there were nine red heifers. He said the tenth would signal the appearance of the Messiah. That's why many are excited about this arrival. Now if you remember on the first night I shared with you that um during my visit here to the US in the month of June the Lord had shown me something about the US that really stirred me like never before you know it, a few years ago i remember we brother neville and i were speaking at our dear pastor leonard barber's church in st louis and one day during a worship i saw into heaven and the lord jesus seated with the council of the elders there and they said the destiny of the us will be decided soon this was about 10 years ago so in the last 10 years many many wonderful prophets from within the us have lifted up their voice to cry out to the nation about judgments to come about calamities to come how much did we pay heed to that is a big question mark secondly the lord gave a sample by just slow little bit lifting up his hand of protection over the nation and you saw what happened at the twin towers on 9/11 for bunch of 
terrorists without much military training brought the entire US down to her knees right okay how long did it last that just couple of months for the for two or three months the whole nation while mourning seemed to turn back towards God because during that period all the churches were flooded but did it lasted for long the answer is no in fact from the year 2001 till now the nation has gone worse instead of going up towards God it has gone down and down and down and down into the ditch the climax of it all was the Supreme Court's verdict on June 26 you should never forget that day in your life you know because that's the day the nation totally turned her back to God he turned now before that I was in Costa Mesa on June the 19th for a conference among the Chinese people and one afternoon at 5.43 as I was preparing my message the Lord Jesus walked into the room and he came and stood by the sliding door window just overlooking the city of Costa Mesa he never spoke any word he was just looking and I was wondering what he was looking and then he motioned me come come and stand beside me so when I came and stood beside the Lord he said he was still looking this place will be torn like how a paper will be torn in two when he said this place at that moment I felt in my spirit he was referring to the state of California he said it will be torn in two like how a paper is torn in two so I was shocked because we have wonderful friends in California our ministry base is in California so many wonderful friends and churches in California like Pastor Sweet who's so sweet <laughs> so you know to be absolutely honest and sincere with you in the past I have never ever felt so emotional like how I felt that day in the past it, it didn't bother me if the Lord said destroy I said yes Lord destroy them Or I would just repeat the word like how the Lord told me to say it you know I never felt one or emotional about the whole thing but this time it was so different I felt so emotional I pleaded with the Lord why Lord why the Lord said because she will tear my land and I, I understood the Lord was referring to Israel she will, she will tear my land she will tear with her own hands the covenant she made with my people so he said warn her now, this is something that I've seen several times since the year 2013 in 2013 I was fasting for three days on the top of Mount Sinai and on the third day I was sitting on a rock and drinking my morning cup of tea and meditating the scriptures and while I was meditating the scripture for some reason I just lifted up my eyes to look you know sometimes when you want to deeply ponder you look somewhere don't you so as I was lifted up my head to look at a direction I saw a mighty angel come and stand about 20 feet away from me and he said this will what this is what will happen to the nation that will divide Israel when he spoke that 
a three dimensional map of the US appeared beside the angel. And he took his long, huge sword and stepped directly in the center of the US, and the continent broke into two. He said, This is what will happen. At that time, I didn't know that directly in the center where he stepped, there is a major earthquake fault line that according to geologists if you have an earthquake with a magnitude of 10.5 and above the entire North American continent will split break up into two so then I asked the Lord I was still shivering I started shivering and trembling inside me so I asked the Lord, Lord, what about your people? There are so many of your dear saints here. So the Lord told me, they will be warned to flee from this place. They will be protected like how Lot was protected. Angels have been dispatched to measure the land and to mark out the places for destruction. So after saying this, he just disappeared. And I was just shaken. And uh, on the 20th of June, at 6.45 in the evening, a mighty angel appeared in my room with a scroll in his hand. He unfurled the scroll and he began to read. These people, Americans, have been marked for destruction. And I thought, oh my God, not something repeated or said in succession. This has never happened to me before, you know. Never in a continuous succession of two days. And when he spoke those words, I saw angels, many of them, in many places all over the US standing ready to execute destruction upon the nation and I saw three places that were marked for massive destruction through earthquakes I do not know what are the three places I was just shown three places so I did some googling you know, to find <laughs> because it, the, the clue was massive earthquake so if it's going to be a massive earthquake I wanted to see where are the major fault lines in the US so that a massive earthquake can strike and sure enough I found three places there are three great major earthquake fault lines in the US. One is in California, the San Andreas, and the other is in the middle of the US, and the third is somewhere else. And then, again I asked this angel, why? Why? Why must you all do this? So this angel told me, son of man, these people are wicked and obstinate worse than Nineveh and Sodom and Gomorrah so when I try to appeal this is what they are saying why are you asking all this don't you know that these people are very wicked and very obstinate and they are worse than they than the people of Nineveh and Sodom and Gomorrah so again I appealed yeah but they are still because since he mentioned the word Sodom and Gomorrah I, I picked that and I said but Lot was safe and Abraham prayed for righteous people so there are righteous people in this nation I told the angel I can guarantee you there are more than 50 righteous people (laughs) 
See, I put my faith in all of you. <laughs> Hoping that I was right. Am I right? Yes. All right. So I told Danja, I can guarantee you, there are more than 50 righteous people in this nation. And Abraham prayed for 50 people. And God said, if there be 50, I will not destroy them. So when I appealed that, then the angel said, warn these people. Only prayer and repentance can save, if it can be saved. So, and this thing really, you know, bothered me very much. I've never ever felt like this before. And after the meetings in Costa Mesa, Pastor Joe Sweet and I, we were at Los Angeles airport, waiting to board a flight to Houston. So while we were waiting, and they made an announcement, okay, now boarding has started. So we were in the queue, waiting to board. At that moment, I heard a voice. Son of man, this city is going to be destroyed. So I turned around, and there was this mighty angel with a big weapon of destruction in his hand. And I saw this angel standing beside me, and at the same time, I also saw him standing outside the airport. You know, Los Angeles airport has got this space age type of uh, restaurant. What do you call that? Don't you have a name for that? Say again. Encounter. Sure, it was an encounter. Oh, no wonder he picked that place. Now I understand. This angel was standing beside me and standing outside near that encounter restaurant at the same time. It's, it's the same angel, but when he stood outside, he appeared so huge that his head touched the clouds. Just like you read in Revelation chapter 10. And he had this huge weapon of destruction that looked like a sledgehammer. You know the one that Thor has? Like that. <laughs> and he said, this city will be destroyed by a great earthquake. And when he spoke that, I saw many angels under his leadership. And they all stood at a, exactly where the earthquake fault line is going to be in Los Angeles. They all stood in one line with their hammers lifted up in their hands waiting for an order from this captain. So once he gives an order, they'll all <coughs> they'll strike on the ground. So again, I appeal to this angel. So why? Why? Again, he repeated, don't you know that these people are worse than Sodom and Gomorrah? I was so shaken, you know. And all during the three hour flight to Houston, this, this thing really troubled me very much. What made it worse was, why three days in a row, I received something very similar, repeated three times. That further intrigued me and troubled me. Never have I heard, had anything like this in the past, something repeated three times, in three succession in a row in a short time. So I didn't know why. And I just, all throughout the journey, I was just pondering about this. And when we landed at Houston airport, we came out of the plane and we walked on the bridge. As soon as I stepped foot on Houston airport, I heard the voice I thought, I think this angel followed me, you know. 
he said this city will be destroyed by a massive flood i thought oh no i don't know anything about the history about houston you know so while we were traveling from the airport to the city of houston the driver a wonderful past a minister of god who picked us he was talking with pastor joe sweet and he mentioned something about there was a great flood in the city i was i was still too occupied in my mind about what encounters that i had i didn't quite pay attention to what both of them was talking about but i just faintly heard the word flood okay but when i got into the hotel room i googled thank god for google you know <laughs> you've got the whole world in your hands <laughs> Are you old enough to know that song? Yes. Okay. So now Google is like that. So I, when I googled, there was records of history of massive flooding in Houston. Now, the, the, it didn't make me very pleasant, you know. I don't know why this time these things really bothered me very much. It has never bothered me in the past. never i just didn't know why it it bothered me so much until two days later when he saw in the news the nation the highest legislation in the country has passed the same sex marriage law then i understood why see your judges are not just supreme court judges but are judges of the land and what they pronounce they have put a curse on their own country and by opening a flood gate so first was the judges of the land second was the king of the land as soon as the supreme court passed the bill president obama went on the air to second and to champion the cause of the passing of the bill and the whole white house was lighted up in the rainbow colors of the lgbt community you know the white house is the king's house it's not supposed to be the representation before god and what are they showing to god it's like showing the fist sign you know i'm sorry to say that but that's exactly what you have done you show the finger sign to god by by protracting the rainbow colors on the white house that is gross sin gross sin when i saw all this then i understood why the lord spoke three times in succession which means things will come speedily speedily destruction will come speedily so all your prayers can save you and your family but that which has been determined upon the nation will come like what brother nebel has been sharing this past three days about things that have been determined like what daniel the prophet interpreted the dream that nebuchadnezzar saw he said the thing has been decreed by the watchers decreed means done past it will certainly come to pass so and then i still didn't give up you know i still didn't give up so i wanted to give another one last shot so last week of july and the first week of august i spoke at a conference in maryland so in the meeting again i knelt down before the lord and i cried out I said lord is there something that can be done 
that suddenly like a light went out inside me oh Nineveh when the people all repented God spared Nineveh so I took it up before the Lord Lord I now have an argument for you <laughs> so I brought up my argument before the Lord look Lord your word says that Jonah pronounced a judgment upon Nineveh and when the nation repented you spat Lord there are so many prayer gatherings and prayer movements in this country they'll all pray Lord so I thought I want my argument you know then the Lord told me you know what's the difference he asked me you know what's the difference between the prayer movement in this country and what happened at Nineveh the difference is this Nineveh from the king right up to the smallest baby fasted and prayed so the Lord asked me will the king of this country do that so I, I rest my case Will he? I had no more arguments to put before the Lord. But when Abraham prayed, the Bible says, when God sent fire down upon Sodom and Gomorrah, he remembered Abraham. And because of Abraham's prayer, though there were not ten righteous people, at least Abraham's family was safe. Because of Abraham's prayer. So when you put your life right, you consecrate your life. Like what Naval has shared, by when? By when? And when is that? September 28th very good in fact I tell many of my um, close uh, uh, associates said consecrate a 40-day fast if you count up to there there's a 40-day period say give yourself to 40-day fast pray consecrate make a fresh dedication before God renew your vows renew your covenants Renew your dedication. Whatever you have missed, put it right again. This time, when you repair the altar, it should stay repaired. It should not be broken again. Because you don't have another opportunity to repair the altar. One last opportunity to repair the altar. So if you do that, then you and your household shall be saved. When the destruction is going to come, the angels that went out to deliver Lot and his family, they will come to you. And they will tell you, now flee from this region. Flee. Just like they told Lot, flee. Flee. They will tell you when to do that. Amen. Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you 
will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready.